Good morning. <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. <clears throat> if you hear any noise in the background, that would be my laundry. It's funny that I don't know how many times <clears throat> I've decided to, I mean, I multitask all the time, but, you know, I throw in laundry, um, running around in the morning not showered or anything yet and I'm like hey I think it's a good time to get in front of a camera <laughs> excuse me terrible time um message is always important and it's kind of funny that I I even am overly concerned about my setup that um I have an afghan or a shawl that was given to me years and years ago um, thrown on this chair and it has patterns on it that uh, I worry about what's in the frame what's in um, what's on the camera in the background because there are people who hyper focus on symbols and am I throwing up hand signs or something I'm very concerned about that this is a spiritual warfare Ephesians 6 12 and I'm not always 100% of the time conscience conscious <laughs> I always get that word wrong <laughs> conscience conscious <laughs> of what my hands are doing and Satan is very clever and takes that opportunity. So when I go in front of a camera, um, I basically keep my hands in my lap because there are people, instead of listening to the message, instead of listening to, am I speaking truth? They are looking for reptilian eyes looking to hear certain words like did they say different words like unfortunately or good luck or something you know I for 42 years 42 years I was of the world to let go of some old habits especially ones that you're not conscious conscious <laughs> there we go again <laughs> that you're conscious conscious of um and but you're not doing it intentionally people are just picking people apart and and focusing on things that are they speaking truth that's what matters um, our sword, that's what our sword is. It's truth. So people are just roaming around. That's what Satan does, roaming around to devour people. That's what other people are doing. <clears throat> that do you think you're being led by the Lord Jesus Christ to go to different people and overanalyze what they're doing, critiquing pointing out their errors, calling them names, <clears throat> telling them they're going to hell. That's not Christ-like. And they're being spiritually led. Again, you're not being spiritually led by Christ to pick apart other people. You're not being led by Christ. Christ asked you the first two commandments is to put him first so by putting him first you're considering what he would think and what he would feel by the actions of what you're doing you think of what would the Lord Jesus Christ think at this moment if I said this I don't know how many times I've interacted with someone recently and I will analyze <clears throat> and think about the conversation later that did I do the right thing? 
would Christ approve? Would the Lord Jesus Christ um, want me to say more? I try to learn from each situation because there's no coincidences of those that you come across. So if you didn't do something that you may regret that I should have said this, you may have another opportunity to say what you wanted to say. Or if a conversation didn't go very well and you said too much, you know to back up a little bit, uh, reevaluate the situation, and you learn to be wiser. Wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. Our walk continuously is for us to grow and learn and show others what it looks like to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ. That's our testimony. We are a witness. <clears throat> so, speaking of which, I'm going to touch on it very little, but we are to come away from the world. So I'm just going to read one scripture. Revelation chapter 3, verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. This is your crown. Your mind. So, the things that are happening right now, the Lord Jesus Christ is taking down the veil, showing you the hive mind mentality, showing you that the Antichrist is taking control of other people's temples. <clears throat> that the Antichrist is already sitting in the third temple. He's already taking control. He's already being revealed. <clears throat> that, you know, I'm not going to get into what other people um, have discussions about because it's a fictional stage. It's not real. Those that they say were murdered, they're actors. They're actors. They know each other. It's all like a horrible movie script. And it is to, it's spell casting, it's witchcraft, it's numbers, it's colors. It's to have the whole world, because Satan deceived the whole world, it's to have the whole world watch. While you're watching, you're participating. While you're participating, you're making that spell stronger. So those of us who actually have his Holy Spirit we know not to pay attention to it. We know not to talk about it because we know that it's not real. It's a spell. I'm not allowing anyone, any man to take my crown. My crown, my mind, my attention is in truth. I walk in truth. I don't participate in lies. I don't participate in deception. So you need to turn it off, because if not, I suggest you read the parable of the ten virgins. The foolish virgins, now look at this parable with new eyes. The fool, the oil is wisdom, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. The wise virgins get their knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the Lord Jesus Christ only, truth only, His Word. The foolish virgins get their knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the world only, from, from man, from other people, because they were foolish. The wise told the foolish, go buy from those who sell, go buy the lies. Go buy the deception. Go pay attention. You're going to anyways. You are of the world still. Go pay attention to what they're doing. But when Christ arrives, you're not going to be ready because you didn't get your knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from the Lord Jesus Christ. 
and you were still in the world. He told you to come out of her, come away from her, lest you suffer from her plagues. And that means judgment. You will be judged because you chose the world over the Lord Jesus Christ. You chose to participate. You chose to watch. And, you know, even those who say that they're walking with the Lord Jesus Christ that are watching the spectacle, your eyes are not single. Your heart's not single. Your heart is still in the world. Your heart is not with Christ. Your heart isn't with truth. Jesus Christ is truth. So speaking on lies and not even revealing the lies, you don't even, they speak on these things, what the, what the narrative is, as if there were some truth to it because they're under a strong delusion. It's very clear, the defining line from the separation of the wheat and the tares at this point, because either you know truth that the whole world is a fictional stage, an illusion, a snare, a trap, and you know to come away from it, or you are part of it. You are part of it. You're under the deception. You're under the hive mind. You're under the spell, and you're going to be left behind in tribulation. It's a very, very clear path one or the other and it's being revealed people who are chasing after other people on YouTube to just try to force truth upon them and and it's like well you're under a strong delusion because you're not being very wise chasing after other people making video af video after video of people that they're already going down that path to destruction and because you're chasing after them you're going down the same path you have to go down the same path to address them to to talk about them Satan's placed all these pawns all these tears in your life cuz he cuz Satan's like well if I can't get you with this person I bet you I can get you with this person. If I can't get you with this person, I bet you I can get you with this person. And take your crown and your attention over here versus walking that narrow path with the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't allow anyone, not a family member, anyone to take your crown. I hope this video is very clear. I hope I planted a good seed. I don't make as many videos now because I'm spending quality time with the Lord Jesus Christ. That doesn't mean I'm opening up the Bible and sticking my nose in it and 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 constantly, you know, um, the way the world views spending time with the Lord Jesus Christ. I could be out in my yard pulling weeds and finding peace. He is my peace. He is my rock that I take him with me when I'm singing, when I'm driving in my car, when I'm gardening, when the other day um, I rearranged my living room so I had to pull out all the furniture because I cleaned the windows inside and out. That's a chore in itself. <laughs> and even though I'm not constantly talking with the Lord Jesus Christ, He's with me. He's always with me. He's in here in my heart. So any time that I can admire the way the sun comes through the window or how I, I've had a couple of wildflowers that popped up this year in my yard that wasn't there last year, and I admire that or how my vegetable garden is growing, I thank the Lord Jesus Christ to help that grow, to help it be healthy. Um, just little things like that, that I recognize the Lord Jesus Christ in everything that I do. 
and I keep him with me and I keep him close. That's very, very important to be close and just stay close because don't allow anyone to take your crown because Satan's like a roaring lion looking to devour you. And I see him devouring many people who I thought were walking with Christ. I thought, you know, I like, I'm, I'm a very positive, leaning towards the, you know, um, the, the light part of view. And when I see that they're falling away, it's heartbreaking. It's the worst thing I've had to do is witness people getting devoured. And that's what I'm doing. I'm witnessing so many falling away. And it's one of the most difficult things. And if I didn't have Christ giving me peace and giving me some understanding, I don't fully understand it. But he gives me enough understanding where I just keep praying for others. I pray for them and I love them. So that's what we should be doing. Don't chase after, don't do carnal things. Stay close to Jesus. Put all your trust and faith in him. Pray for others always with all your heart and all your mind and love them the way Christ loves you and know that it's all in his hands, all of it. It's playing out the way his will, his will is being played out. You cannot change his will. So if it's his will that someone's under a strong delusion, that's his will. He's already made that judgment. So by fighting that, trying to fight it, you're fighting the Lord Jesus Christ. So pray for understanding. Continuously pray for that other person, that they have mercy upon that person the way he's had mercy upon you. So again, I hope this wasn't long-winded. I hope that this helps because at this point, you shouldn't be chasing after other people. You should stay close to the Lord Jesus Christ and be a wise virgin, not a foolish virgin. I love you and God bless.